Hello, Bobby Torres of Freightbox recording here, and let's talk about the number one mistake that people make when working with MIDI drums, and also how to fix it. Let's discuss. Now, if you're a hard rock or a metal musician, we live in the greatest time in history because you can create excellent quality recordings in your home studio due to these excellent tools known as MIDI drums and amp sims. The issue is most people's productions sound blatantly like they're using MIDI drums and amp sims, and the truth is it doesn't have to be this way. And because of this, I put together a simple, simple checklist called the MIDI drums and amp sims production checklist that pinpoints the mistakes that people often make and how you can easily, easily remedy these mistakes and get to producing excellent quality music within your home studio when using your MIDI drums and amp sims, regardless of which ones you're using. PDF guide is absolutely free and there's a link below in this video's description where you can download it right now. Now in this video, I'm gonna point out the number one mistake that I hear people making when it comes to working with MIDI drums within their productions. People send me their mixes all of the time and 80% of the time they're working with MIDI drums and amp sims and it's blatantly obvious where they're going wrong with their MIDI drums. Now in this tutorial, I have a real world production that I'm currently working on where I'm using MIDI drums and I'm gonna pinpoint and demonstrate what this issue is and how you can easily fix it within your own productions with the click of a button. So I'm gonna play the audio back, pinpoint where I'm going wrong and what to do to fix it. Let's check it out. All right, so this production is in its early phases. Nothing is committed, nothing is mixed. It's just raw MIDI drums, in this case in the form of Easy Drummer, uh, some DI guitar tracks and bass tracks, and that's about it. Now, if you notice, the number one thing that's blatantly obvious is that the drums sound so fake. You know, it's something that we all face and people often complain, oh my God, MIDI drums sound so fake, amp sims sound terrible. Uh, but more specifically, when people look to fix their fake sounding MIDI drums, I noticed the general tendency is to go in there and mess with timing and make the timing not perfect. Now, that will definitely kind of help make the drums sound more natural if you really know what you're doing and you're really sliding the MIDI around in a way that a drummer will actually play uh, in real life. But the real secret, I'm gonna let you in on it in this video, the real secret behind making your MIDI drums sound natural is way simpler than that. And you ready for what it is? It's not pegging out your MIDI drums at 127 100% of the time. I can't tell you how many productions people send me uh, where I can clearly hear that every single drum hit is pegged out at 127, meaning maximum velocity within your MIDI software. Now, here's the thing. We have to keep in mind, an actual drummer in the real world is not gonna be slamming on their drums with 100% intensity 100% of the time. They won't even be slamming on their drums with 100% intensity 5% of the time. So the question is, why do we program our MIDI drums to sound like the Terminator slamming on a drum kit with 100% intensity 100% of the time? It really doesn't make much sense. So I'm gonna to reveal to you my technique for getting around this issue. Super simple. Take all of your drum MIDI, if it happens to be you know, pegged out at 127, highlight all of it, and reset your velocities to something like 110. It's still nice and hard hitting, but much more natural sounding. Remember, these days, drum software like Easy Drummer, Superior Drummer, Get Good Drums, Steven Slate Drums, those samples were recorded in great detail and feature the full range of dynamics. So that 127 super hard hit dynamic is there for you if you need it. But again, drummers do not play like that in reality. 
So I'm gonna play the same exact sample back for you. And again, these drums are not mixed. I'm just using the stock sounds in Easy Drummer here. And I'm gonna play the same exact section of this song. Nothing changed outside of taking the drums that were pegged out at 127 and bringing them down to 110. Let's take a listen. As you get here, the exact same MIDI drum performance that is set to 110 sounds so much better, so much rounder, and so much more organic than the one that's pegged out at 127. And unfortunately, most mixes that people send me, you can clearly hear the MIDI is 1000% pegged out at 127 most of the time, especially on like drum fills, it's noticeable, on uh, blast beats. Remember, always relate your MIDI drums to what an actual drummer will be playing or the way that they would be playing in the real world. That's the true secret to a great sounding MIDI drum recording and performance. And again, what you just heard isn't even a full mix or a finalized mix. It's not mixed at all, to be honest with you. It is just a song that's in the very early stages of its production. But this is exactly where you wanna be focusing your attention when getting your MIDI drums right at the source. So I'm curious to know, do you pay strict attention to the dynamics of your MIDI drums? Do you peg them out to 127 at all times? Or are you very conscious of this and try to keep the velocities in a more reasonable range where an actual drummer would be playing in reality. Let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section. I'd love to hear of your experiences and your opinion. And again, if you're looking to improve the sound of your productions where you're utilizing MIDI drums and amp sims, you can have direct access to my free MIDI drums and amp sims production checklist. There's a link below in this video's description. If you found this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And do not forget to click the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload weekly videos on all things metal and rock production. Until next time, happy mixing. <laughs>